Hey guys, welcome back to another Coffee Time with Cobra. Um, I was, I actually have a subject I want to talk about. <laughs> um, and it hit me about four o'clock this morning. Bear in mind, it's just turned eight o'clock now. And I was in the shower and the thing that hit me the most was bonds, army bonds. Most notably, I was watching uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America, the first Avenger, Steve Rogers. And there's a scene where he's doing um, a ton of, of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a ton of like uh, bond sales where he's like, you know, uh, every bond you buy has a bullet in your best pal's gun, stuff like that. Well, I thought to myself, why did they stop doing that? Why, 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 why did they stop selling army bonds? And I realized because of the subcommittees, it, it hit me. The reason why they stopped basically nationalizing the funding for the army, the air, the air force and the Navy is because it relied solely on the donations of the public during the war. Okay. Which means during non-war time, the surplus budget that would be allocated towards the military was allocated towards roads and various other things. And so I thought to myself, why don't we go back to that? Why, why does the army need a, a hundred bajillion bajillion dollar surplus of, of, of whatever? So it, it just... It just came to mind. I'm going to be doing a bit of beard grooming. So just bear with me, guys. Just a bit of personal beard grooming. And it hit me. Why don't we do that anymore? Why don't we fund the military through war bonds anymore? You know, why don't we let the rich put their money where their mouth is why does it always have to be the poor why does it always have to be quote unquote territories like the Bahamas the Marianas and Puerto Ricans and whatnot that have to fight the war give up their lives and still not be given US citizenship or, or veteran status or a whole bunch of other city things stop Claiming it as territory and claim it as your own. Claim it as a claim it as a state. Okay, do it. Do it the right way, or don't do it at all. Okay, end of. Just do it the right way, or don't do it at all. I I know that that seems a little harsh. I know that seems a little counterintuitive, but I'm sorry. That makes a lot more sense does it not and then you can take some of that money and put it towards say oh I don't know illegal immigration customs and border sorry guys see a lot of people keep asking me what you know especially women they're oh men with beards are just lazy no we're not there are some men out there that put a lot, <laughs> a lot of time, energy, and effort into their beards. Me being one of them. And so that's that done. Now I've got to go to my oils. This is oil number one. And I mean, I was talking about this on Second Life to some friends about how the fact that I have a lot of, I have a lot more care products than some girls I've dated. And women say men are hard to shop for. No, we're not hard to shop for. It's just hard to find a store that carries the products that we like. This is oil number two. Yes, I used two, two types of oil. 
smells beautiful. Um, again, I'm not affiliated with any other products, so if you ask me in the comments, you know, where do I get this, where do I get that? Honestly, I get all of mine at my local super drugs. Now I'm just working it in with oil that is. And so, yeah, war bonds. Why don't we do thing with war bonds anymore? You know what I mean? Why why don't we do the thing with war bonds anymore? See, that's another thing. Most people don't realise how bushy my hair is. Okay? So, like this, you can't tell. But if I do this... <laughs> it instantly... <laughs> it instantly fluffs up. <laughs> it instantly fluffs up so trust me it's i put a lot of time energy and effort into my beard then last but not least my beard styler I'm not a big fan of this one it smells mostly a pine tar and i don't like smelling a pine tar but this one's a leave in you can get some palm palmades for beards that are not a leave-in. This one's a leave-in. And it's supposed to help with wiry hair. And there we go, guys. I'm going to have to do this every shave. Well, every shave, every shower. So, I use... Uh, buy my beards, shampoos downstairs. I use this as the leaving moisturizer and beard conditioner then I use their uh, beard oil brand and then I use a different company called uh, uh, King C Gillette not related to the razor company but this is their stuff this is a beard thickener that has uh, vitamin B and caffeine in it and it smells absolutely beautiful and then I hit it with uh, by my beard uh, conditioner to stop me wayward hairs doing their thing and that's pretty much what I do every time I shower and shave. And so, yes, it's a... So, yes, ladies, there are some men out there that do take pride in their beards. I'm one of them. I've got a wayward hair down here. And then, of course, you give it a good old... A good old brush in. Give it a nice... Stiff... Yeah, brush brushing and what this does now there's another little trick you can do for beards and that's you take a, a downy dryer sheet you know the sheets you put in your Americans the American they don't do it in England but they do it a lot in America you get like this little dryer sheet and it's this scented and it takes all the static electricity out your dryers but um, you can take one of those put it over your stiff brush stiff bristle brush and as you brush it takes the static electricity out of your beard so your beard lays flat I learned that from a friend who uh, works as a makeup artist in the movie in the movies uh, yeah anyway back to the war bonds thing so why is it yeah I'll put this on the bed why is it in newer wars that we're in we end up not doing the old bond system anymore hmm it just it just got me thinking it's like hang about we used to do a bond system that forced the public to approve or deny of the current uh, conflict that we're in and so, why don't we do that anymore? Hmm? That's a wonder. It is a wonder. So, you've seen me. So, you've seen me uh, do my beard regiment. 
I'm getting back into um, um, like going to the gym a lot more now. As I said, um, my health wise. Oh, health update. Health wise. Um, clots in my lungs gone. Clots in my heart gone. Clot in my brain um, hasn't grown, but it's shifted. It means it's moved. And it's moved more closer. If you look, you can see it majority on my left side of my face it's shifted it was back here it's now making its way to here and as it's doing that it's putting pressure on my optic nerve so sometimes you'll see in uh, some of my streams you'll see that this that my left eye is more blood is completely bloodshot compared to my to my right um i do have eye drops from my eye doctor to help with that but uh, it does cause immense migraines when that happens and uh, i'm not fun to be around when I have my intense migraines. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, there's that. Gaming related wise, I know that there was a big snafu about the um, Escape from Tarkov cheating thing and the band waves. Um, I know that World of Tanks has also done a huge uh, band wave. Uh, not that it helped um, because I was playing uh, earlier this morning because the new. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, season pass came in and so I, I played a, I played a game or two and uh, two out of two of the four or five games that I played two of them had uh, match rigging bots uh, in them and I don't mean droopy barrel syndrome uh, if you don't know what that means uh, when a player disconnects or a player can't connect to the server due to illegal mods or, or mod conflict or whatever or just poor in it connection or whatever his barrel on his tank will droop it would be pointing to the ground. It's called droopy barrel syndrome. It's what I call it anyway. Um, or, 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 or DBS, droopy barrel syndrome. And then when he connects, his tank goes, oh, 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 oh. does like this Dalek thing, like, oh, where is the doctor? Kind of thing, you know. Um, and when they're bots, their barrel's straight. Because they've connected, they've logged in, but they haven't moved. So their barrel is straight, it's not droopy. It's literally, they're, they're logged in. They're there. They are logged in. But they've all tabbed. So that's match rigging. And I'm sorry, Wargaming need to add in an, an a, a, a kick feature. Like if your tank doesn't move within 30 seconds of the match. Like, I mean, like, you, you, you move, you, either you move, you know. And, um, like, like it, it does like a, a, during the countdown, whatever, you get a warning saying, look, if you don't move at the start for the first two minutes of the match you know you will be treated as an afk bot and you will lose the ability to squad you will lose the ability to you know what i mean because that's what it's for it's for for creating teams to to, to rig the match okay if you're in a team okay this part's going to be aimed at wargaming okay think about this wargaming what can one tank do versus three tanks okay so case in point you've flagged an account for botting okay you flagged it congratulations woohoo now restrict its ability to join a squad a platoon okay are the botters going to use that account anymore no they're not if they do they're going to serve whatever how many days penalizing it is so that the players get a reprieve of say 14 to 30 days thank you but the point is, it's going to limit the ability that the botting companies can do. What I mean by that is, uh, another thing, take a look. At if a player is having a bad week, okay? And there, there are times when I've had a really bad week, okay? Where I've done some games where I've only scored 150, 200 EXP. Okay, I was just having a really bad day, really bad game. It's very rare that I ever score zero. So, take a look at an overall for that month. Okay, if if they've done 10 games, 20 games, 30 games of zero. And another thing you can do. Is 
take a look at the tanks that destroy them. If one tank knocks out all three of them, okay, or two of them or whatever, okay, keep tabs on them. Flag the account and watch them again. If they do it again, bu -bu 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 from the same platoon, bu -bu 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 from the same platoon, bu -bu 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 from the same platoon, penalize the buyers, not just the sellers. They will flag themselves. It's not it's not rocket science. Okay? It's not. It's not rocket science. And here's another thing, okay? What's stopping you from coding something into your actual game client that prevents multiple instances of the game client being run on the same machine? It's not. See, they can get around hardware bans by running it in a virtual machine. Okay? Not that hard. Anyone knows this. If you are downloading an iffy mod, virtual machine. If you are downloading an iffy program, virtual machine. Okay? VR machines. They're, they're free. You can get some free software. You know, things of that nature. Okay? So hardware bans are pointless because the hardware is randomly assigned. Okay, so you can ban this randomly assigned fake CPU and graphics card, motherboard, doesn't fucking matter. They just hit refresh, re-random it again. But what you can do, okay, is modify the client so that those who aren't using VM, v, uh, VM machines, virtual machines, okay, the client says, sorry, you can only have one of me up at the same, at one time. It's not hard. It's not rocket science. You can put that in as a micro patch, as an update to the client. Okay, if the launcher is up, set them. Sorry, close the launcher. They close the launcher, it closes out that client. They're like, the fuck? They go back into the launcher. Okay, they log in, rinse and repeat. You link the launcher to the client. Ta-da! At that point, they're going to need multiple virtual machines and multiple installations of the same game, okay, on the same hardware. And yeah, they can they can run, you know, it, it all all of their IPs through a so got Nicky Beard. They they can run all of their IPs through you know a uh, 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 freaking you know, VPNs or whatever. But ultimately, it's the acts themselves. There are little things that you can do on a kernel level that are, that are on most motherboards. This is the same issue that, that Battlestate get. What is it with Russian coders? Do you guys not understand how to fucking code and uh, to, to know how to code? Of course not. You want to know why? Because Escape from Tarkov is an asset flip. Okay, it is. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything that you see in Escape from Tarkov is an asset flip from their previous game, Contract Wars. From the actual faces and clothing and gear that the soldiers are wearing... To even some of the in-game items are just pure asset flips from their failed Facebook game. And the majority of their, their multiplayer network code is based on Unity 2018. Bitches, we're in 2023. Update your shit. Now back to the world of tanks. You can do the same thing too. You can incorporate freaking uh, 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 anti-bot software, okay? If they're running order it, which is a known scripting software, guess what? There are certain anti-cheats and certain software that goes, sorry, either uninstall order it, or don't play World of Tanks. Sorry. I know for a fact that auto it was 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 for the longest time in a gray area 
in a first person shooter you used to play called combat arms because you could set it up to macro your pistols uh, and very single single shot uh, sniper rifles like the SR25 and, and, and things like that and the uh, M14 because the full auto M on the M14 was just a joke but if you put it in single shot you could just stand and go pop pop dead pop pop dead pop pop dead put it in full auto you can stand and go pop 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 and then they finally die for some reason when it was in single shot mode it did more like 10 times more damage so people just went left it in single shot mode and just got an auto trigger macro pop up dead 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 all the time well eventually combat arms nexon caught on to it and in their client they had a pop-up you go to click battle it would say disable your order it And you try to enable it while in game, it would kick you from the game and it'd get a pop up saying, so and so's banned, reason, macros. Macro slash auto it slash cheating. You would get publicly named and shamed to everyone in that lobby. So there are ways out there. If Koreans can do it, what is stopping Russians from doing it? Bear in mind, by myself, I got a Unity game up and running, first person shooter Unity game up and running with vehicles and, and, and AI bots that you could shoot and attack at by myself and even made a few lines of code and even got the damn thing to connect to another client halfway around the world and we was doing multiplayer. There was no rubber banding. There was no invisible players. It's all about the engine that you use. Okay? It's all about the engine that you use. Okay, guys? No fact. You use a shitty engine, you get a shitty project. But you get... You, 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 there's, there's an old drag racing phrase. If you want cheap horsepower, you put a Chevy in it. You want a Chevy to go faster, you put Ford in it. And Chevy guys know what I mean by that. Well, the same thing applies to video games. If you're basing your video... Case in point, look at Heroes and Generals, okay? Heroes and Generals was on such an old engine that when they went bankrupt... And they did. When they went bankrupt and... Their IP was purchased for peanuts. The people that purchased the IP were like, The fuck is this on? Fuck. Minecraft. Minecraft has better texture mapping than H&G. Prove me wrong. The fact that you did nothing with your community either. You used to do streams where you would give away gold codes and, and talk about streamers of the month and, and stuff like that. And that was great. That was fantastic. I fucking loved that. And then you just stopped doing it. You stopped giving a shit. When a, dev, when a developer stops giving a shit, why the fuck should the players care? We shouldn't. Hell, I'm still mad that fucking Sony shut down Star Wars Galaxies. I miss my Galaxies. But my point still stands. My point still stands. When it comes to this wave of, of hackers and, and, and whatnot... And, and bot farming and all this other shit coming on in games. There's a reason why I don't play Escape from Tarkov. Other than a single player version of Escape from Tarkov. That I cannot mention. Because if I do. My main Escape from Tarkov account will be banned. For playing a single player version of their game. That was so easy to reverse engineer. I laugh at you. And in fact, I think I might stream it anyway. Because why the fuck not? The 
there are some people in this world who just don't get it. And for some reason, they all seem to come from Russia. <laughs> it's like you guys just don't understand coding. You just don't understand you know, where your bloody player base is at. You're so out of touch, it's not even funny. You might as well be on a different planet. You might as well be a Belta Loda. And if you don't know what that is a reference to, you're on the wrong channel. By the way, it's from a TV show called The Expanse. A really good show. Am I a Martian? Am I an Earther? Mm. No. Am I a Belta? Belta Loda. Why is that not a game? Oh. Like a Star Trek Online kind of thing. You've got like ship combat and then you've got ground combat. Oh. Or a Mass Effect single player version of it. You know, you can do a campaign where you're dealing with the proto matter molecule thingy. Oh. Someone who needs to get the, 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 the IP to the game. That would be amazing. Fuck, I'm still waiting for Stargate to come out as a game. Oh, that would be so awesome. Command of your own SG team going through a gate. Oh, Jafar Cree. Fuck you, Jafar. You know what I mean? Or, or the Ori or Replicators. Oh, that would be an awesome game. I can't shut my brain off sometimes, I swear. Mm. Sadly, coffee's gone, which means video's over. Anyway, guys, leave a comment down below on, on a subject you want me to talk about in the next coffee time. Uh, if you're new around here, hit the follow button uh, or the subscribe button. I'm just saying the follow button on Twitch. Hit the subscribe button, uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see you on the next live stream. So then, guys, keep your chest flying, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out.